Not just a second. Well, this is a video on how air compressors work. Okay, we got one over here. It's all together. All it is is a pump, like an engine pump. But instead of burning gas, it just takes and it shoves fuel, uh, shoves the air into a tank and pressurizes it. Electric motor that runs the compressor. Sometimes it's gas powered if it's a portable one. Then out of the tank comes a hose fitting. And then the hose that goes out usually, or it can go into airlines for a shop, has a uh, pressure switch on it which controls how much pressure it fills the tank to and shuts it on and turns it off. So we'll show you the breakdown of the compressor itself. Okay, this is one without the head assembly on it. We'll put this here. Okay, these sit right on top of here. And then this sits on top of here, it goes like that on it. So it sucks in the air, through the air filter, in the here. Okay, then it comes up here on this side right here. It comes down there. It sucks. Just a second. Okay, it sucks it through these valves right here. They're just little flapper valves. So they're actually called reed valves is what they are. Sucks it in, sucks it down through there. Sucks it down in, this is a two cylinder. And then it comes back up and goes through these holes on the other side here. And gets shoved back out. These valves right here that are on the other side of this plate. Shoves them out them, comes up here, goes through here comes out here then on this one when it comes out it goes into here goes into the tank builds up pressure there's the electric motor see just pulleys and it runs it with a belt this one doesn't have the pressure switch on it it's missing that and then the hose fittings to hook it up but that would go on here the pressure switch and hose fittings and all that So that's the general idea how they work. The pressure switches are adjustable, so you can adjust how much PSI you can put in it. In here, there's like two screws, like you got on like a two-cycle carburetor. One is for when it turns on, and the other is for when it shuts off. So you can adjust that. You just got to know the maximal pressure of your tank or your compressor so you don't wreck it. This one, it needed new gaskets, so I was cleaning this one up and put some new gaskets in it. Here's a closer look at the reed valves. This one, I actually broke the screw off when I was trying to get it out so I could clean underneath them. But so, but that doesn't affect it because this one sits right on top of it and the screw head sits in that hole and it pushes down on it so it'll work I just gotta set the head in there so these if you look here it just it comes up to the hole and and the air just pushes through and pushes up on the valves and when it's doing the other stroke, these will get sucked down and pushed tight against there so that they can't move and let air by them. They're a very good design. Some uh, two-cycle engines have stuff similar to this on the intake. So they work pretty good.